for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which shall be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. Mas na po kami kanina, alas 8 para po paghahanda rin sa gagawin namin ito na house exorcism na ako pala hinihinala ko na matindi ang nandito sa bahay na pupuntahan namin. Ano. Kaalis lang namin sa St. John Mary Vinay Parish. Papunta na kami sa bandang south at uh, maraming mga pangyayari bago ito isang kasama ko ay sumakitan dyan isa naman feeling nilalagnat isa naman inaantok pero pala ko dahil puyat lang ngayon pa man um, alam ko and by experience uh, ito ay part ng harassment kasi um, sinisiguro ko alam ng Diablo na kami parating no? pero umaasa kami talaga syempre lagi naman no? sa kapangyarihan ng Diyos at sa kanyang awa sa gagawin namin ito kaya inihiling ko rin ang inyong mga panalangin okay para kahit sa mga susunod na mga panahon sapagkat hindi biro din kahit na infestation no ang case no is an er extraordinary demonic activity kaya sa abot na kami makakaya sinasabi ko nga eh i-document namin yung mga gagawin at uh, wala, chill lang ngayon kasi alam ko ay uh, protektado kami dahil nakapagmisa at nakapagsimba kaya abangan nyo lang yung mga susunod okay? magandang hapon po mga kapatid ko sa pananampalataya ako po si brother RG Sarita in charge po ng office of the exorcism ni father Jeffrey Quintela noong nagdaang buwan po ay mayroong pamilyang lumapit po sa aming opisina upang humingi po ng tulong patungkol po sa exorcism dahil yung kanilang anak po ay mayroong kakaibang ginagawa sa kanyang sariling kwarto nung ito'y nakita ng kanyang ina ang bata ay mayroong black book, mayroon siyang kandilang tinitirik na bungo at maraming mga cards na ginagamit so yung cards na yon nung ipinakita po sa akin ay isang tarot cards na ginagamit sa mga occultism, ginagamit para sa pagbabasa ng mga katanungan ng mga taong naghahanap ng kasagutan sa kanilang sarili. Kaya po, nung lumapit sila, hindi po nagkatubili ang simbahan, lalo tigil sa lahat ng opisina po ni Father Jeffrey na tulungan, bigyan ng aksyon, bigyan ng assessment. At doon sa assessment na ginagawa namin, isang assessment na kung saan makakatulong sa kanilang pamilya na maibsan yung takot, makatulong sa kanilang pamilya na may handa ang kanilang sarili sa lahat ng mga pagsubok na dumarating sa kanila. And after all assessments, after all processing na ginagawa, which is may mga uh, referral kami ibinibigay, may mga reseta kami ibinibigay kung sa doktor ay mayroong reseta ng gamot, ang simbahan po ay mayroong reseta ng spiritual na pangtulong para sa kanilang pa, para sa kanilang pamilya. Kaya yung resetang ibinigay po, which is yung mga proseso na ginagawa nila, go to confession, no? uh, receive communion, attend the Holy Eucharist, pray, etc., etc., ay nagampanan naman nila ng maayos. Nagampanan naman nila ng matiwasay na sama-sama ang pamilyang ito. Kaya after the assessment, after the, the resetang ibinigay namin, ito na yung panahon o ito na yung araw na kailangan naman namin silang bigyan ng aksyon sa pamamagitan ng pagdalaw namin. 
dahil yung bahay ay infested eh dahil yung bahay ay nagkaroon ng opening nagkaroon ng um, bukana para mapasukan o manirahan ang mga demonyo doon sa lugar na iyon kaya papunta po kami sa isang lugar na kung saan doon nakatira yung pamilyang iyon para tulungan naman sila sa pamamagitan ng infestation sa pamamagitan ng deliverance prayer at sa pamamagitan ng exorcism na ibibigay po ni Father Jeffrey Quintela kaya po mamaya matutunghayan natin kung ano pa yung ibang mga ritual na kailangan gawin ng simbahan para po matulungan itong pamilyang ito at isang aral na rin para sa ating lahat na hindi dahil dahil sa curiosity gagawin natin ang isang bagay na hindi naman natin alam kung ano ang magiging resulta kaya bago natin gawin yung isang bagay na yon panatilihin po natin nagkaroon po tayo ng um, pahintulot ng ating mga nakakatandang mga kapatid o na, sa ating mga magulang bago natin gawin yung isang bagay na nakukurious tayo para safe tayong lahat okay po, muli po, mamaya po masisilayan po natin yung iba pang mga kaganapan of a place or their prayers of protection and deliverance of places, families, and households. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, Amen. Our help is in the name of the Lord, who made heaven and earth. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Heavenly Father, we ask you to send us your Holy Spirit. Protect all of us. Protect those who live here. Protect all those who are present here. Protect our loved ones. Protect our possessions that they may all be free from any harassment and retaliation from the evil one as we do this ministry of liberation. Heavenly Father, we ask you to send Jesus to cover us with his most precious blood for our safety. May the mantle of love and protection of Mary be upon us. The prayers of St. Joseph and the defenses of St. Michael and the prayers of St. John the Baptist as we also celebrate his martyrdom. Yes, also the saints who fought the devil in their lifetime, St. Padre Pio, St. John Mary Vene, St. Benedict, and all the saints. May they pray for us and intercede for us as we do this ministry of liberation. And you know, Prince of the Heavenly Host, by the power of God, trust in the whole Satan and all the evil spirits who wander throughout the world, seeking the real souls. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now in the hour of our death. Amen. We drive you from us, whoever you may be, unclean spirits. 
all satanic powers, all infernal invaders, all wicked legions, assemblies, and sects. In the name and by the power of our Lord Jesus Christ, may you be snatched away and driven from the Church of God and from the souls made to the image and likeness of God and redeemed by the precious blood of the Divine Lamb. Most cunning serpent, you shall no more dare to deceive the human race, persecute the Church, torment God's elect, and seethe them as wheat. The Most High God commands you, he with whom in your great insolence you still claim to be equal. He who wants all men to be saved and to come to the knowledge of the truth. God the Father commands you. God the Son commands you. God the Holy Ghost commands you. Christ's Word made flesh commands you. He who would save our race, outdone through your mercy, to your envy, humbled himself, becoming obedient even unto death. He who has built his church on the firm rock and declared that the gates of hell shall not prevail against her because he will dwell with her all days even to the end of the world. The sacred sign of the cross commands you as does also the power of the mysteries of the Christian faith. The glorious mother of God, the Virgin Mary commands you. She who by her humility and from the first moment of her immaculate conception crushed your proud head. The faith of the holy apostles Peter and Paul and the of, and of other apostles commands you. The blood of the martyrs and the pious intercession of all the saints command you. Thus, cursed dragon and you, diabolical legions, we adjure you by the living God, by the true God, by the holy God, by the God who so loved the world that he gave up his only Son, that every soul believing in him might not perish but have life everlasting. Stop deceiving human creatures and pouring out to them the poison of eternal damnation. Stop harming the church and hindering her liberty. Be gone, Satan, inventor and master of all deceit, enemy of man's salvation. Give place to Christ in whom you have found none of your works. Give place to the one holy Catholic and apostolic church acquired by Christ at the price of his blood. Stoop beneath the all-powerful hand of God. Tremble and flee when we invoke the holy and terrible name of Jesus, this name which causes hell to tremble, this name to which the virtues, powers, and dominations of heaven are heavenly, sub humbly submissive, this name which the cherubim and seraphim praise insistently repeating, Holy, holy, holy is the Lord, the God of armies. bilang pinayayahan ng Diyos ng grasya na makakita ng mga bagay-bagay na hindi nakikita ng ordinaryong tao. Yung biyaya na yun, ano sa exorcism ministry po, ano yung nakita niyo po na vision 
sa mga panahon sa, sa mga araw na ito? Okay. Uh, sa, during this uh, ito si session, uh, meron akong tatlong bagay na nakita. Uh, ang una kong nakita is yung goldfish uh, isda na mataba na goldfish yung itsura niya. Uh, pangalawa kong nakita is yung globe, bilog na may merong, yung parang hawak ng Santo Nino. And then pangatlo is uh, rose. Solid na rose. So yun yung tatlong bagay na nakita ko. And habang nag-iikot tayo, habang nagbibilas tayo, uh, sinabi ako na si Father Jeff. And then, eto nga, nakita natin yung mga bagay na ano, na nakita ko through the vision. And dun sa mga bagay na yun, uh, in-exercise na ni Father Jeff. So by the grace of our Lord, uh, I'm sure mawawala na yung mga evil spirits dito sa bahay na to. Yun lang po. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, and by the power of His blood, His cross, and His resurrection, I bind you, Satan, and all your evil spirits, demonic forces, satanic powers, principalities, attributes, aspects, clusters, endowments, and satanic thrones. I bind all kings and princes of terrors. I bind all demonic assignments and functions of destruction. From any of the above demonic entities from outer space, the air, water, fire, the ground, the netherworld and all the evil forces of nature. I bind all interplay, interaction and communication between satanic and demonic spirits and expose all you demonic forces and spirits as weakened, defeated enemies of Jesus Christ. I sever all demonic spirits from any demonic ruler above these spirits in the name of Jesus Christ. I bind all enemies of Christ present together, all demonic entities under the one highest authority and I command that you leave their life now, you leave this place and go straight to the feet of Jesus Christ. Your assignments and influences are broken. I call forth and loose the Holy Spirit, the heavenly host, the holy angels of God, to surround and protect and cleanse with God's holy light all areas vacated by the forces of evil. I ask the Holy Spirit to permeate their mind, heart, body, spirit, and soul, creating a hunger and thirst for God's holy word, and to fill them to overflowing with the life and love of our Lord Jesus Christ. Therefore, we ask you, Eternal Father, in the name of your Son, Jesus, that any type of sin committed in this place, in this part of the house, and in this house, violating the peace and sanctity of a truly Christian home, we wash and cleanse through the precious blood of our Lord Jesus, who takes away all the sin of the world, dishonesty, hatred, and evil. Sa yung karanasan dito sa session natin sa exorcism. Ano yung mga bagay na nararanasan mo bilang isang binayayaan din ng Diyos na makaramdam ng mga extra pupunay yung mga bagay natin? Mari mo pang ibahagi sa ating mga mga naman. Well, kasi one, nung this moon, pagkapasok ko, sobrang bilat na. As in, yung, ang hirap siya nga. Tapos, basta ang bilat mong feeling. Pero iba yung, yung, yung pressure ng eh, dito sa pang, parang bathroom, parang wala lang siya. Pero once na um, pumunta ko ulit sa main room, parang nandun ulit yung pagkabigat. Tapos parang, ah, hirap mo nga. Tapos paglabas, and then there's another room here. Uh, at first parang, oh, okay, normal lang. So, ano lang, uh, ikot lang ko. But then, nung pagkalabas ko sa bathroom, parang biglang sumakit hindi ko ko pa. Ano yung bigla siyang, parang may gumanon na ewan na. Yung kaya na pa, ah, ganyan. So, hindi ko sure, pero, yun. In, parang iba yung talaga, iba yung experience dun sa dito, sa room na to. And also dun sa, ano dun. Kasi ito, wala, walang ano eh, hindi siya mabigat eh. Pero bigla na lang sumakot yung isang kato. So, yun. So, Jesus Christ, we thank you from the bottom of our heart because you drove away forever all darkness and evil from this house. Lord Jesus, our beloved Savior, 
bless this house and each one of those who live here so that the light of your protective presence full of love and peace may enter and always remain here as a sign of your infinite mercy. Holy Spirit of the Father and Son, increase in us more and more faith and trust in the power of the resurrected Lord. Amen. Alleluia. Let's in prayer. Heavenly Father, by the power of the Holy Spirit, we pray that the cleansing power of the precious blood of your Son come upon us right now. Purify us and wash us clean with the blood of Jesus from the top of our heads down to the very soles of our feet. Let his blood penetrate the very marrow of our bones to cleanse us from any entanglement from whatever spirit we have come in contact with during the course of our intercession. Anoint us with the gifts of the Holy Spirit and refresh our body, soul, and spirit and may the sign of your holy cross drive away all evil spirits from us. In the name of the Father, the Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you.